Water is essential for survival. And if you ever get into a survival situation, you've got about three days before you know you just get dehydrated and your body just shuts down. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a solar steel. It's a very simple process. All you need is some plastic, either a tarp or some even a trash bag like we have here, uh, and dig a hole and have some kind of container, and you can take natural elements and make this steel. Now the ideal size is about a three foot diameter hole. Uh, not too deep, fairly shallow, and it just allows for the water to collect. But you can do it with a smaller hole, and that's what we're going to be going with. But it takes longer for, and you don't get quite as much water that way. The larger the hole, the better, out to about three feet. You need to make sure you're in full sunlight, and we're going to dig a shallow hole. Of course, obviously, you're going to need a shovel. <laughs> Now the ground has moisture in it, and so what we want to do first is take a cup or some kind of container, put it at the bottom of your hole. You can take any kind of plastic, something that would keep the water sealed, and we're going to put some logs, you can use rocks, you can use whatever. You can even use the dirt that you've dug out of the hole. We're just going to secure this bag. Next, take some kind of pebble. Or stone uh, what this does is it allows the bag to kind of come in to a point and so when the condensation comes up and hits the, the plastic it'll roll down to this point and then hopefully go straight into our cup so we're just gonna let this set for a little while we're gonna come back in about an hour or so and see what it's doing now, even this dirt that we've dug out I mean it definitely has moisture in it so when the Sun hits that bag it's gonna have create condensation and uh, just like on a tent or whatever, if you've ever been in a tent and it gets hot, uh, you'll form condensation on the top of the tent. It looks like the uh, rock collapsed and uh, the sun <laughs> left. Got some shade here. So let's just check it out and see what we've got. All right, we did get some water. Uh, you can see it in the bottom, but I think maybe with the uh, collapse, it might not have worked as well. But the principle is definitely sound. It's just that we need to make sure those that plastic's a little more stable. Here we have another hole. This is going to be more in direct sunlight. I'm going to put our cup down here. This time we're actually going to go with a smaller pebble. We're going to use some rocks. Maybe that'll help a little better. Maybe those logs with the pebble. So we're going to put our pebble right here. We'll let it just come down just a little bit right over our cup. Well, let's try it again. All right, this one held up much better. The pebble just kept it down. Well, it's been out here about an hour and a half. We're just going to test the progress. It's gathered a little bit of water. Not really that much to be honest with you again hour and a half maybe it's going to take all day long to be able to draw enough water out of here well it seems like no matter where i put it the sun tends to move after a while but it's had direct sunlight for about five hours so we're going to check it wow okay We've got about a three quarters of an inch of water. Now that's not enough really to sustain, but it definitely will help. And if this left all day in the sunlight, this will work. And we're gonna talk a few, about a few things you can do to increase your water yield. And when you're finished, you really should take the dirt and put it back in. You don't want something or some animal or a human to be able to step in this and hurt themselves. Now one thing you can do to increase the amount of water is to take moss and leaves that are still alive, fresh cut, and put them inside around the bottom around your container and this will actually increase the amount of water that comes up and it forms that condensation on the plastic and then it just comes down to a point again and then drops into it uh, typically from what i understand it takes about 12 hours to really get some substantial water and that's with a three foot hole uh, us with you know just about an 18 inch hole you know we were getting quite a bit less one of the problems though that we had was we kept um, losing our sunlight 
and where I, I felt like that I was right there in the middle of a, a field, uh, the, the, the sun as it moved, trees came over and blocked it on two occasions. But the last time, obviously, we were able to get a lot more sun. I left it out for about six hours. Uh, I believe 12 hours is the ideal. But the more sun you get, the more direct sun, the more water you're going to produce. And guys, as I always say, improvise to survive. Learning to take just ordinary items and being able to use them in a survival situation that could possibly save your life. While we still need to do some testing on this, the principles are sound, and guys, if you ever find yourself in a bad situation, this may be the difference between life and death. And guys, if you're serious about survival and prepping, check out the Survival Dispatch Insider. It's one of the best resources on the web. Uh, I upload one video exclusive to the Insider every week. And so I'll have a link down below, and it's just a great resource. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Of course, now we got to fill up this dumb hole. Water is something. <laughs> it's going to take you a little time, uh, but the. Ideally. Okay. I'm just trying to get through this, okay? <laughs> Timing, baby. Water something that you can... <laughs>